Hi, Mark Millen for Millen Lacrosse. And in our uh, first segment here, we're gonna talk about the importance of catching. In all the things I do, and all the instruction that I do on a daily or monthly basis, I always talk about how catching is the most important part of the game of lacrosse. And I'm gonna quickly illustrate why. But in general, catching is so important because it sets up the next play all the time. So the next play could be a dodge, it could be a pass to your teammate to the backside, okay, or it could be a shot. But whatever you do, whatever happens next is gonna be important and is gonna be set up by the catch. So a couple things with catching. The first thing we wanna keep in mind when we catch is we really wanna have vertical hands, okay? This lacrosse stick is set up, all right, to hold the ball vertically, not horizontally. So we wanna do everything uh, with our hands vertical. From here, I can shoot it, I can pass it, I can protect my stick. And again, the, the lacrosse stick is set up for the ball to land in there vertically, not horizontally. So we want our hands to be vertical all the time. All right, the next and the most important and the thing that I would really harp and ask you as parents or young players to work on is to make sure there's no hand action at all when you're catching the ball. I happened to just watch Steph Curry in a video that was very viral online and I saw him snatching at the ball. If I could have worked with him, you want the ball to drop in there, all right, and no hand action. I'm gonna show you and demonstrate right now how when we catch the ball, the ball just drops in there, okay, and then I can make the next play. Ball drops in and you can see there's no snatching. There's no hand action at all. So the ball drops in, all right, and I move it. Here's a simple little drill you can work on to take away any kind of hand action. All right, you're gonna notice here, I'm gonna catch with one hand, okay? I'm not gonna snatch at it, all right? I'm just gonna catch with one hand, let the ball drop in, hold it, and move it. Let the ball drop in, and move it. When I, when I teach young players that drill, a lot of times they'll do it, and then they'll start snatching at it still, all right? Really work hard to let the ball drop in, okay? And then they can move it. So really important, catching, if you think about it, when the ball is thrown to you in a game, if you can catch it and move it, or catch it and shoot, or catch it and dodge, all right, versus the ball comes to you and you drop it, or you catch it the wrong way and it's hard to make the next play. Okay, we're gonna just show a really quick illustration, and again, I really would suggest, you know, kind of taking my word on how important catching is. Watch a college game. Watch the best players are usually the guys who catch it the best. I'll tell you a quick story. Two years ago, I talked to a collegiate coach about a young player, and this is a Division I lacrosse coach, and he said to me, hey, does this guy catch the ball well? And I was really surprised that a Division I uh, coach that was talking about a potential recruit, how many goals did he have? Is he competitive? Does he hustle? He really wanted to know about catching. So quick illustration about why catching is so important. If I catch the ball, especially in transition as much as any other part, if Jake throws me the ball here and I got a snatch at it, you can see how quick the defender will be on top of me. In that situation, I'll either lose the ball on a check or by the time I catch it and get it to the back side, the defender's going to arrive. So if you can catch properly, all right, you can catch properly Look at how quickly I can move the ball to the backside. So again, work at it, constantly practice it, hands vertical, no snatching at all, dead hands, just catch it and move it. And a good, a good drill to work on is just catch it in one hand, hold it a second and then move on. But you really gotta work at it. 